Hi Junior Rangers, I'm Allie Grizz, Pure Yoga and Mindfulness for Athletes teacher, and today is our final virtual camp session. So before we get going, we will need a chair for the work that we're doing today. I have this one right behind me. It is um, a, actually a patio folding chair, and any chair will work. So if you have a dining room chair, a desk chair, so take a moment, go ahead and find a chair in your house that will work for you. And then you can press pause on this video and then come back when you're ready. Okay. So for our final mindset tip today, I'd like to sum up everything that we've talked about previously. We talked about the importance of a positive attitude, giving your best effort at all times, having a positive um, self-talk, so that inner voice that talks to you at all times in your head, make sure that it is serving you and helping you to be better. And then the qualities that are needed for leadership and just remembering that you have the power to be a leader. So the best way I would sum up all of these things is the power of positivity and we train our mind just like we train the muscles in our body. So any athlete that is really talented, really skilled in their physical body, to be their very best, they have to match that with the talent, with the skill, with the strength in their mind. And that's really what I want for all of you is to reach your full potential. And so to be able to do that you know, we work the body, we strengthen the body, my classes and all of these other amazing classes that you're getting in this camp. And also we strengthen our mind to be positive, to be able to be resilient, to start over when we have setbacks. And that's what will make you the best you can be. It started with our class. So if you have your chair close by, go ahead and move it out of the way of your mat. And before we break down the individual posture, so like I said, this class definitely will be different than the previous classes, um, but I wanna move just for a few minutes here uh, to get started. So come to stand on your mat, and stand to the top if you have the space. Take a big breath in, reach your arms all the way up. Pause right here. Really push down into all four corners of your feet and see if you can lift and spread your toes. And then look up, reach your fingertips up to the ceiling and go really tall. Pull your belly in, lengthen up even taller, best you got. Big breath in. Bend your knees, forward fold all the way down. Breathe into your halfway lift. Take your hands to your quads, chest forward. Breathe out, bend your knees, plant your hands, step back, strong high plank. Hold here for one breath. Really push down into your hands, pull your low belly in and up, create space in your chest to breathe. On your exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Leave the top of your forehead down, press the tops of your feet down, and then lift your head, neck, and chest for low cobra. See if you can lift, we have not done this before. <laughs> lift your palms off your mat. So you should feel all of the muscles in the back of your body. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. See if you can lift your chest one inch higher. And then slowly lower your forehead down. Take your heels together, knees wide. Press your hips back, arms straight for child's pose. Take a big breath in your nose. Open your mouth, let it out. Spread your fingers, press into your hands. Lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Really ground down into your palms to press your chest back. Keep a little bend in your knees if that feels good to the back of your legs. One more, look forward, walk your feet to your hands. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold, bend your knees. Breathe in, rise up. Go so big like we started. Reach up, look up. Breathe out, bend your knees, forward fold, all the way down. Drop your head. Breathe in, halfway lift, chest forward. Shift your weight forward. Breathe out, bend your knees. Step back to a long, strong, high plank. 
This time, shift your elbows straight back behind you for a strong low push-up. Upward facing dog, press the tops of your feet down. Lift your chest, straighten your arms. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Roll over your toes and really press away the floor to create space in your body. One breath in, let it all empty out. Look forward, walk your feet to your hands and rise up to stand. All right, quick little warm up there. We wanted to move a little breath to breath before we slow it down. So today we will use the chair. Go ahead, bring it back. And I just wanna show you um, a few more postures that it's a little difficult to add into to a full flow like we did that can be available to you if it feels good to your body. Important to keep in mind that all of our bodies are different. So, um, you know, some things might work for you, some things might not. And that's the great thing about yoga is that we learn about our own bodies. Uh, you get connected to what you really need and what feels good and is the best for you. So we're gonna take down dog with the chair. Take your hands to the back of the chair. Step your feet back to create some space. Keep your arms nice, long, and straight. And then start to press your chest. Take a little bend in the knees, too. Press your chest down until your ears are right around in line with your biceps, which are your muscles right here. You should right away feel such an opening right here in your upper middle back and your shoulders. Keep that, keep your arms straight. Keep lengthening your side body. And then bring attention to your legs. If your stance feels too wide, you can walk your feet up. If it feels too short, you can walk your feet back. And maybe pedal through your feet. Press your left heel down, bend your right knee, and then switch. And then one more breath here. If you have a really big arch in your back, draw your lower ribs up and in. Take a deep breath in and then let it all out. And slowly lift your chest, start to release, come to stand. All right, hopefully that felt really good to you. I know I really feel some space in my upper body. So our next pose with the chair is called figure four. And we've actually done this on our backs in, um, I forget, maybe the third class, it was the hips class. So if you can, you might need to come to the edge of your chair to get there. Place your left foot all the way down to the floor. Cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed. So flexed foot means right toes towards your knee. So this is not flexed, just kind of hanging in. And this is flexed. Really important to protect those muscles around the, um, or the ligaments around the knee. Relax your shoulders down, get really long through your spine, breathe in. As you breathe out, fold forward, lengthen the center of your chest forward. So think about um, leading with your heart over the shin. You should feel this in the outside of your right hip. So your outer glute, your outer hip. You can place your right hand to the inside of your right thigh to feel it a little deeper. Apply just a tiny bit of pressure. I like to keep my left hand around this foot just to remind me to keep it flexed. One more, breathe in, shoulders back, lengthen. And then breathe out, find some more depth. Lift up, good job. Place your right foot all the way to the floor. Take your left ankle over your right thigh and flex your left foot. So left toes towards your left knee. You can place your right hand around the outside of that foot, left hand to your thigh if that helps you feel a little more. Lengthen, shoulders down, lift your chest. And then on your exhale, start to take your fold. Breathe in. And then big breath out as you fold. 
use your breath to find some ease in your neck and your shoulders. Lengthen your chest as you fold. Release your left foot. Good job. Go ahead and stand up and remove the chair. And then we'll take a toes pose to stretch all of the muscles in your feet. So as you skate and your feet are shoved in those boots, um, all of those muscles can become really tight. There's like, I think over a hundred muscles in your feet. So really important. Come to your knees. And before we start to lower, look behind you. See if you can tuck all 10 of your toes. So like even get your pinky toe tucked. And then slowly lower your hips back down towards your heels. And when you arrive, you should pretty much feel it right away. You should feel a stretching and all of those tissues around your toes. Now, if this feels like too much, definitely back out of it, definitely lift up. We don't want to put the body in any position that it does not want to go in. And if it feels intense, but it also feels good, then breathe through it and try to stay with me. Take your shoulders back, lift your chest. Take a few more breaths. You might also feel your Achilles tendon, which is right here in the back of your ankle. And uh, if you spend so much time in your hockey boot, ankle strength and ankle mobility is so important. So if you start to feel a tightness there, breathe into that as well. Last breath in. Full breath out. And start to slowly lift up. Press the tops of your feet down. Oh, we're trying to stretch there. That's good. You might feel the tops of your ankles when you do that. And slowly make your way down to seated. Extend your right leg long and flex your right foot, so toes up towards the ceiling. Take your left foot to the outside of your right knee. Reach your left arm up, rotate your hand back, and then reach behind you and prop your left hand up. So we just want another base of support right here. Relax your shoulders, lift your chest up. Reach your right arm up and then grab the outside of your left thigh with this right arm. Take a breath in and lengthen up. Breath out, find rotation over to the left. This is a seated spinal twist and you should feel rotation in um, your thoracic spine. We did a class on that earlier. Right here in your middle to upper back. Take two more breaths with me. Really ground down your um, sits bones, your hips down to your mat and then breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, push down into your left hand, find rotation in your upper back. Twist towards your bent knee. One more, big breath in, strong breath out. And then come back to neutral. Extend your left leg long, flexed foot, left toes to the ceiling. Cross your right foot to the outside of your left knee. Reach your right arm up, rotate your hand back. Right hand down behind you, prop it up for that base of support. Take your left arm up and then wrap it around your right left thigh. Breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, really push down into your right foot and find rotation to your right through your middle upper back. Two more breaths, deep breath in. Use your core, really pull your belly in as you rotate and twist. Last breath in, lift up, lift your chest, long spine, breath out, rotation right here from your rib cage. And then release back to center. Release your left leg and we'll make our way to the wall. So final stretches here. Um, you can take your mat, my mat's already there, but just a few inches from the base of your wall is okay. Scoop your hips as far forward as you can get them. Might feel a little awkward. Rest your back all the way down and then bring your inner arches of your feet, the inner soles of your feet together for, you might know it as a butterfly position. 
and place your feet a little higher than your knees on the wall. Now, if you're not close enough to the wall right now, you can scoot a little closer. Really ground down your low back, ground your hips, soften your shoulder blades, and then activate your feet, the in, inner soles of your feet together. So as you press and create contraction, you should feel a release in your adductors and your inner thigh muscles, you're growing. You can place your hands to your inner thighs, feeling a little more intensity, just a tiny bit of gentle pressure. Breathe in. Press the soles of your feet together. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Breath out. You might be okay here. This might be intense enough. If you need a little more intensity, you can lower your feet. Engage your core as you breathe out. Feel your belly pulling in and down to support. Start to lengthen your legs up the wall. So legs can come nice and straight. And then you can scoot your hips a little closer again if needed. This is called legs up the wall. If you have taken yoga for athlete classes before, you might have done it. It is just a great way to, especially if you are sore, your legs are tired, there's a lot of inflammation there. It is a great way to increase your circulation and um, just find some rest in those legs. Good for your low back and your hips. Release your arms out to the side, let your palms come up and close your eyes. If you'd rather lay flat like we have in previous classes, you can do that too. Relax all the bones and the muscles in your legs. Connect the strength that you've worked so hard for in your physical body, that you practice hard for, that you train for, to also the strength in your mindset. to positivity and leadership every single day. Take a full body stretch, reach your arms up overhead. Hug your knees to your chest, roll to your right side. Come away from the wall, press to sit. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Take your shoulders up and back, finish nice and proud. Thank you so much for your hard work. I have loved being with you these past sessions. Go out there, have a great season, try hard, great attitude. Namaste. Let's go Rangers.